Socratic Seminar, A Powerful Strategy for Inquiry. Before the Socratic Seminar begins, the facilitator should have introduced the process, discussed the difference between debate and dialogue, and have norms posted that detail expectations for behavior. In a Socratic Seminar, the room is arranged with both an inner circle and an outer circle. To prepare for the seminar, each participant has already been assigned the text to read critically, take notes, and create high-level questions. The facilitator begins by introducing the text for discussion and reminding the participants of their roles. In this example, the facilitator is going to introduce the first question and then allow each speaker in the inner circle about a minute to discuss it with their wingmen behind them. An option for a more advanced class is to allow students to begin with their own individually developed questions. In the wingman formation, each speaker in the inner circle has two wingmen behind them. The wingmen support the speaker by staying engaged in the inner circle discussion, following along in their text, and passing ideas forward to, to the speaker for contribution. This formation allows for a safety net for speakers who are not as comfortable with speaking in front of a group. Here you can see the wingmen helping the speaker prepare to participate in the discussion with examples from the text. Well, speaking of redesigning, in paragraph 7, the second part says, this research clearly demonstrates that students and teachers do better when they have variety, flexibility, and comfort in their environments. Certainly classrooms or learning studios can be designed so they have variety, flexibility. After the discussion has developed for a few minutes and the inner speakers have had a turn, the facilitator can pause the discussion, introduce a new question or direction, and have the speakers rotate with one of the wingmen. Give another minute for them to conference and prepare the new speakers. If this is the first experience with a Socratic seminar, the facilitator will need to be more involved in guiding participants through the process. During the transition, new speakers have joined the inner circle and the discussion begins anew. All participants are continuously adding to notes, reflecting on the text for support, and the wingmen are contributing additionally by sending ideas forward to the speaker using sticky notes or index cards. Because everyone has pre-read, numbered the paragraphs, and written notes, they are all able to stay engaged and follow along with the discussion. Full participation is always the goal. Notice that wingmen in the outer circle are listening intently to the discussion because they know they can still contribute but also because they are aware that they will be in the inner circle at some point and will need the support of their peers before long. In a more limited space, the inner circle can be students in desks and the wingmen can stand behind their speaker. Let's hear some reflections from the participants about the benefits of this experience. I think it's one way that even though the conversation is happening in the middle, we're still all completely engaged in it because we have a different part to play as her wingman. Sometimes I feel like sitting in the back, I feel even more involved with it because right mm -hmm. here I'm feeling like, okay, I'm, I might be in the hot seat next, but you know, and sitting out here, which is awesome because I get two chances basically. There's two rounds of sitting back in this co pilot position where I can really like engage in, in the listening piece and. If I have something to say, I can write really fast and shove it in her face and whatever, and it takes some of the heat off of me sitting and being the spokesperson. In the right. If, the you're in that, if you're in that inner circle, you tend to be thinking it's human nature. What am I going to say next? What am I going to say next? And so you really, and having the wingman kind of takes that off, so you're able to listen a little bit better as the person in the inner circle as well, because you can rely on someone else to do that for you. You don't know what you're going to say next. They haven't handed it to you. Yeah. I love the whole um, referring back to the text you're constantly looking for text evidence for what you're saying and it keeps the conversation on track. It keeps us from chasing rabbits and going in a different direction. That for students that are reticent to speak in class, whether they be an English language learner or someone that is just shy, 
um, that this gives them opportunity, number one, to read ahead and make notes. Um, and whether or not they might not be in the inner circle because they could be a wingman twice, mm -hmm. it gives them the opportunity to participate. They don't necessarily have to speak, but they can write their little comment on the note to pass it forward. So they feel that community is a safety net. You know? mm -hmm. And even if they didn't speak in the inner circle, we had opportunities to, to speak together in our small groups of three with wingman and pilots multiple times. So you had you were just everyone was discussing it, even if you never spoke up in the large yeah. inner circle. I think the first time I did this, being in the inner, inner circle was very a very scary place to be. Um, so when kids practice this, I think that idea of relying on the wing person and knowing that if if I can't find something or I don't have something, then somebody behind me might be able to hand me a note that can help me through the process. Um, that will help you and then the second time you do it it seems like oh this isn't so bad because um, I'm going to start feeling more relaxed about it and I'll be able to share those ideas I'll feel more confident knowing that I can rely on somebody else if I need to but um, I can process on my own and I think that's the part in the inner circle you are you're processing what everybody's saying but then then your wingman may hand you something which takes it in another direction or that you that you didn't even think about so it's like bringing all those heads together, thinking, oh, you know, and some powerful thoughts and discussions can take place that way.